Hello and welcome to the School of Radiance podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Varga, a humble human on a mission here to help you look and feel your best. And in fact, looking great comes from feeling fantastic as well. Because if you don't look good inside, physical or non-physical reasons, you might not have thought about that one. It's going to show up on your face, in your communication, and in your gestures. Now, what I love to talk about is being as pure as possible, body, mind, spirit, energy, as well as other things like with your family, with your emotional states, being in these positive emotional states. Now, one of the things that really helped me get there was doing deep detoxing deep detoxing. And it's actually taken me a good year and a half to really figure out the protocol that works well for me. So in this episode, I'm going to take you a little bit behind the curtain. I do more of a deep dive on this topic in the School of Radiance membership, because there are some things that I do behind the scenes that I'm not really comfortable sharing publicly, but boy, have they made a difference. So what we're going to talk about in today is a great overview on the strategy that I employed, what my journey looked like. And the reason that I did this journey in this way was because I had seen it also help any others. And behind the scenes, I will tell you that I turned off a couple really cool pieces of technology. One of them is actually a specific type of generator. It's not anywhere to be seen in the biohacking space. In fact, it's one of a kind. And for this type of technology that I use behind the scenes, I use this to support cellular wellness as well as, you know, potentially maybe it even has an effect on consciousness. It actually works on zinc. And zinc is a really important nutrient and vitamin in the body that helps with all other cellular processes as well. You're going to be your most beautiful version when you've cleared out the cobwebs and your operating system being your physical form can function in the way that it was beautifully designed to do. So let's start with an analogy of home remediation and dealing with mold. Mold is a big thing, it impacts most homes, and I don't want you to look at detoxing of things like yeast, fungi, mold, heavy metals, and parasites, which really negatively afflicted me for many years unknowingly, and I'm gonna tell you a couple of things that I noticed that really prompted me to do this type of cleansing. But those really are the areas that I recommend cleansing out, clearing out, purifying, as well as the emotional, spiritual, and energetic sides of you also. I did a few posts online talking about parasite cleansing and just how common they are. In my last research article on oxidative stress status and its impacts on skin aging, which I published as open source so that anyone can read it. I wrote this article to be easily read by both the client and the clinician because this information is researched to lay the foundation to reduce oxidative stress. And of course, I learned lots of things in writing this research article as well. Now, when we're thinking about cleaning up mold behind a wall, doing some mold remediation, what do we need to do first? Well, first of all, you should be moving the furniture out of that room so that you don't get dust and debris on your beautiful furniture, but also so that you're not tripping over it on the way to get to the wall where you might need to take out some drywall so that you can properly and easily access the plumbing and the electrical behind the wall. Yes, my father is a carpenter. I've been involved in a very recent home renovation and learned a lot in the process. And in that process, really highlighted a couple things to do in the home pretty well all of the time. Now, statistically speaking, in my research on parasites, parasitologists say that over 80% of North Americans are impacted by parasites. There's lots of different parasites that can make home in the gut, in the blood, in the soft tissue, and even in the brain and central nervous system. And I actually, when I was doing a parasite cleanse, had visual flashing. And based on my 11 years in oculoplastics and ophthalmology, 
I knew exactly what this was. This was actually parasite die-off and the toxins that they release. That's why in my personal journey, I, I did it pretty intuitive. I listened to my body with what it needed and that the information that I needed came to me at the right time in the right way. And then I was able to act on it. Notice that I didn't say try. If you try to do things, you're just trying. You're not actually doing it. So our word choice, day in and day out, is very powerful. If you listen to previous episodes that I've recorded on the School of Radiance podcast, which was previously the Rachel Varga podcast, then the Always Radiant Skin podcast, you will notice very obvious shifts in my language as well as the way that I communicate. And this, it just goes to show you my own personal radiance transformation so that you can achieve it too. I can do it, so can you. Before we do the moving the furniture out of the way, getting behind the wall to do some mold remediation, we need to also set things up to purify the home during that process. Reducing oxidative stress prior to parasite cleansing and detoxing is really important. Number one, to help with opening up your detoxification pathways. Similar to the furniture analysis that I previously shared, that if you don't reduce the triggers of oxidative stress first, you're going to have a more difficult time detoxifying. And little did I know this was exactly what I had been doing over many years. Now, what prompted me to look at reducing inflammation throughout the body otherwise known as oxidative stress, was because I was in two car crashes. I was dealing with a lot of pain. I was dealing with headaches. I was dealing with neck and upper back pain. And actually still even since then, I've had to modulate the way that I sit, the way that I stand, and lots of different activities. Now, things happen to us along the way. Now, these aren't roadblocks. They're obstacles. We are very resilient. And being always ready to be resilient is a key aspect to being radiant. Now, one of the things that I did to start with reducing oxidative stress was purifying the air in my environment. I knew I was living in an older home. I was going through renovations. And this is when I started my biohacking journey myself, which goes back to about, I would say, 2018. Air purification is very key, not only for the body, because this is how the body basically takes on heavy metals is through the air, believe it or not. But also when air particulates land on the skin, it disrupts the keratinocyte stem cell processes. It actually tells your skin cells to die faster. And we don't want our skin cells to die faster. In fact, we do want to speed up the life cycle of our cells. In our 20s and 30s, our skin cell cycle is about 30 days. And as we age, that becomes much longer, which gives more opportunity for skin cells to become damaged. So that's why as we age, one of the key reasons for that is that cell cycle slowing down. And then we see more things like photo damage, redness, dry skin, and fine lines and wrinkles. So that's what retinol does. That's what exfoliation does, is it speeds up your cell turnover. Not to mention there's other things that you can consume And some of the things that I do supplement-wise are consuming senolytics every 21 days to prune out senescent cells, which are zombie cells. A lot of the things that I'm going to mention in today's episode are easily found on my biohacking page over at theschoolofradiance.com. That is a pre-vetted list by me for all the products that I use in my home and technologies and supplements that I use that could potentially help you also. So air purification is very important. Next up is purification of your lighting. Most homes have LEDs. In fact, I went to Target the other day and was very disappointed to see that there were no halogen lights on the store shelves. So what's the workaround? What's the workaround that I have done in my new home because I had to leave a home, it was a six month rental, And then on my way out, I saw lots of mold, which was really disappointing to me because I always do my best to be aware of my surrounding situational awareness. And on the way out, I found mold on a suitcase in the closet, which, you know, I wasn't too happy about. 
but it's kind of par for the course here in South Florida there, and anywhere really in the South or even in the North where there's a lot of humidity. And uh, it's not great for your home and it's also not great for your hair <laughs> if you have thick, coarse, curly hair like I do. So lighting purification is really key. So the workaround is maybe go for some Himalayan rock salt night lights. Those are really great. You can get some halogen bulbs to put in that. Not to mention it makes your home look like an Aladdin den, if you will. It looks really cozy and really great for setting your body up for great sleep later on in the evening. There are some LED bulbs that look like halogen, but they're actually not halogen. So if you can find those online, order a whole bunch of them. And in my previous home during renovations, the electricians kind of laughed at me for wanting halogen lighting instead of LEDs because LEDs are more economical. They're, I don't think they're more environmentally friendly, but they last a really long time compared to halogens. But LED lights are very detrimental on the skin. So here's the interesting part. You might think of radiation from your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth, but you probably haven't thought of radiation from your lighting. Now, we know about UV radiation from the sunshine, but in my research, I discovered that because we're indoors more, we're on computers and using tablets and devices, we're getting a lot more LED exposure on the skin. So that's why even if you're just kicking it at home or working from your office, it's really important to be applying your skincare. Antioxidant serums are going to help to gobble up free radicals that form on the skin from the radiation, from your blue light, but also from the lighting outside. And cleansing is really important to get the debris off of the skin that lands on the skin from the air. That's why cleansing the skin in the AM and PM is really important. And I have been working diligently behind the scenes. Notice I didn't say busy. I've been working diligently behind the scenes to create the best cleanser I've ever used that's even free of microplastics. Yes, it's free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, artificial dyes, fragrances. And then obviously for me to put my name on something, it's got to be top notch, excellent, work well, remove makeup, not dry the skin and rinse easily. So stay tuned for the pre-order of that cleanser. The research and development phase that I'm doing is very thorough. And in fact, I did a consultation for a lovely client of mine the other day, Cheryl, and she was using a brand that a doctor was selling. What's unfortunate is that I went to the manufacturer's website and actually couldn't find the ingredients list on the products from their own main website. And because I've been in this industry of skincare and also health and integrative health and functional wellness, there's a really big thing that's been happening with supplements and skincare and hair care products. And this is called private labeling. Now, why a company might not have their ingredients on their website is because if you take that ingredients list and then go search it, you're probably going to find it in a lab's database. So what companies often do is they'll say, okay, I wanna make a cleanser, I wanna make a moisturizer, sunscreen, scrub, eye cream, serum, body product, hair care, all these things. And they basically select a pre-formulated formula and then they sell it for a ton of money. Now, now that you know, it really is always my aim to help you become a more conscious consumer, but this is something that is quite rampant in the skincare and the supplement world. So this cleanser, I'm, I'm creating it in not that way, but actually essentially from scratch, having worked with over 18 practitioner grade skincare lines, and basically taking the best of the best and then making it my own and then additionally tweaking it further. So that's what you can expect. I will be sharing when the pre-launch of that cleanser is available. It's all going to be internally community funded. I'm not working with investors because doing a skincare line right is very expensive, but I don't want to work with investors and have a board and have them tell me, oh, okay, now you got to start adding canola oil to get your margins up. And I've actually seen this in a number of my friends' companies uh, to the effect where they actually get kicked out of the company, which is just absolutely ridiculous. I don't subscribe to that type of operations whatsoever. So just so you know, it is going to be 
entirely community funded by you based on your pre-orders. So order a number of them at a time when it is available. I'm just nailing down the final formulation because I want you to be able to see the ingredients as well before you order, which is another thing where I've seen celebrities promote a brand for pre-ordering and then I go on their website and the only ingredients that they share are their five hero ingredients like hyaluronic acid. One of them used olive oil. You probably know what that one is. Vitamin C, peptides, and other types of hero ingredients. That is not an ingredients list. So buyer beware these days. That's why you're here because you know that I do my due diligence to always be offering the best products I possibly can at the best price point that's as clean as possible while still delivers the results that you're looking for in a sophisticated product. Next, I do want to talk about electromagnetics and why this is important with detoxing, especially with parasites, is parasites actually thrive in electromagnetically high situations as well as mold. So reducing oxidative stress by reducing our electromagnetic exposure is really important. And I know that might sound a little bit paradoxical, because yes, I am wearing a wireless microphone, but this is very short-lived. And I do personally limit the amount of time I'm actually holding a device. And if I am using technology, it's never plugged in. I'm so sensitive to electromagnetics that if I am using something that's plugged in, whether it's my laptop plugged in or my cell phone plugged in, I'll actually feel tingling through my body. In my research on electromagnetics dating back to about 2016, 2017, I found on a massive website, one of the world leaders of health website, that at that time, about 15% of the population was electromagnetically hypersensitive. Well, since 2016 and 2017, we've had other forms of wireless radiation technology rolled out. And then in my research for this article that I just wrote, Deaths of unknown cause doubled in Canada from 2019 to 2020. Now, respiratory diseases and all those other things had their own category. So this was different. People were dying at a doubled rate compared to previous years where it actually remained steady. And as a researcher, we see this as a signal. And when we come across a signal in the data sets, what do we do? We ask questions. We dive deeper. And this isn't easy to do for the average consumer that doesn't have a background in gen chem, organic chem, biochem, research, writing papers, analyzing data. So that's why I like to make it easy for you to, to learn about these things, because I think it's really important when I see a statistic of death of unknown cause doubling in Canada from 2019 to 2020, I then actually asked additional questions from the publisher of the data themselves. And they further clarified that that also encompasses autoimmune disease or people passing away before they saw a specialist and received diagnosis. Very, very, very sad to see this. So now that you know that modulating your environment is more important than ever, and I think a key contributor to that mortality rate doubling. And since then, believe it or not, they haven't even published more data on that on that website, which I think is actually also quite alarming. What do they have to hide? So this day and age, it is all about finding information from people you trust that are walking the walk and talking the talk and also have their lives sorted out. Because I'm almost here to tell you that a lot of the people that I know that are in the health and wellness space, they're really scrambled in their personal lives. And when I connect with them, there is a little bit of a mismatch with how they present on camera versus how they are in their real lives. I was at an event recently and dear Jillian, she is a regular podcast listener here on the show. And she said, wow, you present better in real life than you do online. And that's always the goal, right? Not always the goal rather, but to not put this projection out there of something you want to be, but be it, be it all the time. Same thing goes with etiquette, practicing etiquette all the time, making it a habit. It takes over 20 days to form habit. By the way, dining etiquette, communication etiquette, styling, as well as deep dives in detoxing and some of the other radiant practices that I do behind the scenes that I'm not going to talk about publicly, that's all found in the School of Radiance membership. 
So if you're ready for that deep dive with me to really learn about the behind the scenes things that I do that have completely transformed the way that I look, my body composition, the way that I speak, the way that I carry myself and the life that I have now created full of love and joy and gratitude and abundance and faith, then that's definitely the place to be. Now with electromagnetics, what they do is they mess with your blood. So if your blood is stagnant, if your red blood cells aren't moving through your blood vessels quick enough, what happens, and that's exactly what being on your phone for five minutes does to your blood, by the way, it makes your red blood cells stick together, forms chains called Rouleau. I learned about this initially from one of the leading researchers on wireless cellular radiation, Dr. Beverly Rubick, R-U-B-I-K. You can find a lot of her things online. But it's almost like anything these days that helps you be healthier is hard to find. So you might have to go to uh, various websites to find her work, but I did reference her in my recent research article. Wireless cellular radiation, I would say, is going to be a massive key contributor to parasites wanting to stick around in your body and impacting your ability to detox appropriately. Again, I like to take the position of reducing oxidative stress First, with your air, water, lighting, and electromagnetics, purifying those the best you can. Don't get, you know, crazy about it. Don't get too extreme about it, but just make steps every day in the right direction. And over time, this will give you a 1% increase, a 2% increase up to maybe a 20% increase in an area of your life that you're wanting to improve upon. Now, one of the other things that happens to our bodies in the home is we have these incoherent sine waves. So outside of nature, we have the smooth sine wave that the earth gives off, which is very healing for us. That's why grounding outside barefoot is good for you. It actually helps to stabilize the electromagnetics in your blood. We get too positive being inside and we need those negative ions from the earth to help to modulate the electromagnetic interactions which then have an impact on every biochemical and neurological interaction in the body as well. So this stuff goes really deep. It's, you know, no longer, oh, you're a hippie for walking around barefoot. It's actually the way that we have lived for so long and being inside so much is very unusual for our species to, we can't thrive in that. And it's always my aim to help you feel better, look better and thrive in every aspect of your life. So if your red blood cells are sticking together, they're not going to be taking oxygen and nutrients to where it needs to go. So I would go so far as to say things like brain fog are absolutely going to be impacted by this. In fact, when I do one-on-one -on -one sessions with people and engage with people in everyday life, I notice a difference in those who are actually wearing those smartwatches. That smartwatch or even the aura ring is constantly giving the body wireless cellular radiation because you're wearing it. It's actually distance is your friend, but contact is not your friend. So if you do wear an aura ring, I highly recommend you put it on Bluetooth mode, and then you can dock your ring and analyze your statistics and metrics when you're ready, instead of constantly checking in all the time. Really, really, really important. And with the smartwatches, when you're in conversation with someone, and they're getting distracted by notification on their watch, what does that make you feel? It makes you feel not very important. And if you are looking to have the highest interactions with people possible and surround yourself with beautiful radiant humans, then this is not something that is going to fly. I do not like talking to people when they're constantly distracted. It pulls them out of the present moment awareness. And it also makes, it think, makes me think about other areas in their lives where they're also distracted. There's a lot of noise. So this also gets back to in the home with the electrical circuitry behind the walls. It creates these incoherent sine waves, which basically creates like this fuzz or this interference or this scrambling for basically everything from the way that we walk, from the way that we talk through metabolic processes and really sets up an environment to have parasites. So as soon as I started to do the air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, I then came across a great cleanse. And all of my cleanse recommendations are also on my biohacking page. But before I did that cleanse, what did I also do? I did the Viome test kit. Testing your gut to start to eat the foods that are right for you and your epigenetics is also key. 
I will add that I also found a correlation and a lot of similar information compared to eating for my blood type. And yes, everybody wants my blood. I was a regular donor for many, many years. And then one of my practitioners recommended holding off because I'm in an active preconception phase. That's actually why I looked at all these things. To be completely honest with you, what can I do to make my body as healthy as possible for bringing in a new human? So yes, there's going to be some upcoming information on biohacking and pregnancy. I just did a session with uh, one of my dear clients, Huti, over the years, because she asked these questions. And personally, when I'm pregnant, I'm still going to be carrying on with purifying my air, water, lighting, electromagnetics. I don't see why that would be a problem. Uh, but staying as pure as possible is really important. And also eating the right foods for your constitution. Because if you're eating inflammatory foods, for myself, that's tomatoes, that's red peppers, that's kale, as well as lots of other things like garlic that I was eating a lot of and peanut butter, peanut, oh my gosh, peanut butter, most peanut butter tests positive for mold because those nuts are sitting in silos and they're molding. So just to be aware of that as well. Food quality has definitely gone down. Our soil, soil quality has gone down as well as lo lots of other agents like canola oil has also been snuck into pretty much every prepared food. Anytime you go out for a dinner at a restaurant, you're going to be exposed to these things as well. In fact, I've done a number of one-on-one -on -one sessions with clients, and this is one of their apprehensions with going out and meeting with friends for a meal is they're really nervous about consuming canola oils and toxic seed oils. Now, one of the approaches that I recommend you take is to not live in fear. Being in fear is also going to set your body up for a metabolic cell danger response. Stress is one of the root causes of pretty much most diseases out there. It's not hard to go online and say, hey, what's contributing factors to cardiovascular disease? It's gonna be stress. Because when the body is stressed out, it's not resilient, you're not consuming adaptogens, and you're not reducing that oxidative stress, when a stressor comes along, your body is going to tell you very likely through your skin, through the way that your energy levels are, your, and thus your hormones, hair loss, the way that you move, you might notice that your movements are more jittery instead of smooth. Uh, that's really interesting central nervous system sign of toxins and dysregulation as well. For detoxing, you must, in my opinion, this is what I did, was reducing the oxidative stress status first and eating the right foods. Because when you are detoxing and you're actually doing a really good cleanse, your body is going to have die off. When parasites and organisms die, they release toxins. And this is what Herxheimer's reaction is. And I've actually had this on one of my detoxes. I do actually a very specific detox every 21 days, but there are some great kits that I have available on my biohacking page to help you out with things like mold and heavy metal and parasites and SIBO and all that stuff. So simply head to my biohacking page and you will find those resources there. So with Herxheimer's, what happened with me when I had Herxheimer's with detoxing, I was flat out in bed for two whole days. I literally couldn't move. All of the muscles in my body were so incredibly sore and stiff. And all I wanted to do was sleep. And I was in a lot of pain. Now, what was the mistake that I did with this cleanse? Well, it's pretty easy for, for me to know was I was cycling my supplements. Sometimes I give my body a break for about two days of not taking supplements. And that's exactly what I did. I'd taken time off supplements for a couple of days leading up to this every 21 day cleanse that I do. And that's, I think why I had Herxheimer's because I didn't have the antioxidants on board to gobble up the free radicals. That's what antioxidants do. They're free radical scavengers. So my body was overloaded with the toxins that were released through detoxing. So that's why I never like to say, okay, here's a detox kit, do it. No, you really want to do the heavy lifting first, get your body ready, get your detoxification pathways open, including things like a hot bath. What I like to do 
is Epsom, uh, two cups of Epsom salts, one cup of borax, one cup of baking soda, maybe a little bit of beautiful essential oil in there and soak in that hot bath for 20 minutes. If you can't afford a sauna, that's a great option. It's an old school option as basically being like a detergent bath and then have a shower after that. Now, if you have a sauna, this is great saunaing a couple times a week. The skin is the largest organ. It's also when you're sweating, a great way to detox and you always want to shower afterwards as well. With detoxing, there's lots of different protocols that are available. Some of them I've tried, some of them I haven't. The ones that I've utilized, I've had great success with. And what's really interesting was actually with my last detox for specifically parasites, I actually didn't clear any, which is really interesting because every time I do. Now, why do you think that might be? I'm, I'm finally at this point where I'm not clearing parasites anymore because my body is not a conducive host for those any longer. Some of the impacts that I noticed in my skin, hair, and nails when I did parasite cleanse was longer, healthier, thicker nails. They never split. They never break. They grow like weeds. Any hair loss that I had over the last couple of years, I mean, let's face it, lots of us were like, what's going on in the world over the last few years? And especially as a woman, when you are concerned, you're in fear, you're worrying, you're taking care of everything at home, that's really going to put you in your masculine. So gentle, the gentleman listening, be there to support your partner and allow them to feel provided for and safe. This is really important as well. Believe it or not, I think that this is one of the key elements that helps to keep my stress low is being balanced in the masculine and feminine dynamic. For about 12 years, I was not balanced in that dynamic and I was hyper-masculine. And even that in and of itself, that added stress, you know, not eating the right foods, living in an older home with mold. Yes, I even tested uh, and there was lots of different forms of mold in there. And these are all going to be contributing factors. So when people ask me, what cleanse do you use? I don't think it would be responsible for me to simply say, oh, here, use this cleanse and use this promo code. No, you absolutely need to move the furniture out of the way first so that you can actually get to the problem and fix it properly. Because if you're doing this cleansing and you haven't done the behind the scenes work, with purifying your air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, and eating the right foods for your constitution from specific gut tests, I don't think you're going to have the best success. The other interesting element to add here is frequency. The Europeans have really led the way over the last decades for energy medicine. No, this is not medical advice. This is educational information only. If you think you have a medical condition, you must seek the guidance of a licensed physician. Energy technology can be transformative. If you've ever seen the show Star Trek, they would use these little gadgets to go over the body and, and heal things. And what I find really interesting about a lot of those shows is some of the technology that we've seen in those shows, like that tricorder, beam me up, Scotty, that's like a phone, right? So sometimes in some of these shows, we're actually getting drips in with technology. But, I mean, that's how I see it anyways. There's a little bit of disclosure here and there. So with modern technology and energy frequency medicine, there is a lot out there. Um, in particular, Rife technology taken from Nikola Tesla. Uh, there's there's some there's some controversy between Einstein and Nikola Tesla. When we think of Einstein stuff, have we really seen a lot of innovations come out from CERN? Nah, maybe not so much. But with the Tesla looking at Rife Technologies, looking at the ether, basically the space between, this is where I think we're going to see a massive explosion and expansion of technologies to support the human body. But if I've learned anything over the last few years, I was talking about EMFs before a lot of people were, nobody was ever seeing those posts. And that was very frustrating to me because it's something that, okay, there's clear evidence, there's clear data. We can see what happens to the blood under a microscope, live blood cell analysis that shows high levels of radiation after just being on your phone for five minutes. This is pretty conclusive in my opinion as a practitioner and a researcher for something to pay attention to. So if there's technology 
that I have access to based on my network and all of those things, I'm going to use it and I'm going to see if it works. So I do actually have some Rife technology uh, coils on my biohacking page. It's a really user-friendly option. It uses a tablet so you don't have to use your own phone. I do recommend getting a separate tablet so that you're not trying to use your phone and it's trying to give you the frequencies. So just putting that out there. And then you basically go through a list of tw- of about a thousand frequencies. Everything has a frequency from the leaves on the palm tree, which aren't maple leaves anymore because I come from Canada. I see palm trees out my window now, which is fantastic. I love it. My body loves it. Everything uh, with the heat. That's also another thing too. If you're living in the wrong environment, sometimes it takes a lot of faith and a lot of courage to switch things up. But we do feel better in certain places in the world than others. And there's a whole other science to that also, which, you know, on a one-on-one call with Hootie the other day, I actually shared with her some things that I did behind the scenes to figure out where is geographically the best place for me at this time based on things to do with my operating system. Well, that's a whole other conversation. But I love this idea of, okay, I have a headache, maybe some abdominal cramps, which I actually don't get cramping at all with my menstrual cycle because I'm balanced, right? This whole concept of PMS symptoms and having to pop some ibuprofen or eat all that chocolate, which is high in oxalates and drink lemon juice with it, by the way. And, you know, sit, chill, watch Netflix, have wine. That's the last thing you want to be doing because all those things are actually going to be dysregulating you. So focusing on the oxidative stress, balancing your body, mind, spirit, energy, eating the right foods, being in a great environment and a positive emotional state, really going to set you up for success with detoxing. Now, with technology and frequency, I truly think that we are on the cusp of something huge here because there's even frequencies for parasites. Every organism and pathogen and leaf and piece of fabric, everything emits a specific frequency that can actually be easily detected and tested. And there's actually been an entire database created on all these things. You can easily look this up as well. It's like, what's the frequency of linen? What's the frequency of cotton? Even the clothes that you wear make an impact on the frequency of your body. Now, when it comes to the ether and the space in between, the reason why I think that this is really profound for beauty and radiance and longevity and being as pure as possible is because our universe is actually made about 80% of space. Quintessence, the space between, the fifth element. This is what most of our universe is comprised of. It's actually dark matter. It's the space between. So how could we modulate that space between, given that it makes up 80% of our surroundings and also us? Yes, a lot of our bodies are made of water as well, but, you know, primarily we're the space between. All these cells, when you go up close, have their own nucleus. They have their own electrons. They have their own protons. This is what actually happens with free radicals free radicals are looking to bind to something to steal an electron and bind to it. And then, you know, downstream, when there's enough of it, create inflammation. That's what antioxidants do, is they bind to those free radicals and then help to clear them out. So on a deeper level, that's what's actually going on in a molecular level and a particle level, actually. So the space between with frequency, I think is a really key thing. And I do like to use specific frequencies to actually clear out parasites, because if we know the frequency of certain parasites, why not give the body access to something that can help it? So this is, you know, simply things that I do behind the scenes. That's only one little piece of technology that I use. Now, some of this stuff might sound a little out there. However, I encourage you to keep an open mind. And if you come across some information that is kind of like, mm, I don't know about that one, always listen to your discernment when it comes to listening to different health influencers, telling you to use this you know, brand new product, this brand new skincare product, this brand new rejuvenation procedure. There's one procedure out there right now that is so incredibly heavily marketed And it's really only been on the market for about three years. So I'm always very skeptical 
of new things, I need things to stand the test of time. And that has what that's what's created me in being an excellent practitioner with over 20,000 rejuvenation procedures performed with very consistent results. And I love rejuvenation with lasers and other non-surgical options and of course skincare and microneedling. But this stuff, this stuff, the oxidative stress status stuff, the radiant stuff is so key. So what is radiance? Radiance is the electromagnetic projection of all of your other systems humming along. So your level of deep beauty, your level of radiance is going to depend on the background of all of your other systems humming along just fine. So the more pure you are, radiance is the 10th body in Ayurveda. The healthier you are, the more clear you are, body, mind, spirit, energy, and then other aspects of yourself as well, because radiance is the 10th body, body, mind, spirit, and energy are only four of those first bodies. This, I think, is a missing gap in the skin and rejuvenation world, and also in the longevity world. What I've personally noticed is that on my personal radiance journey, because the things I talk about are the things that I do all the time, and those of you who hang out with me in real life, you know that this is this is how I operate, this is how I live, and I have fun with it, but I don't freak out about things like I used to. I kind of take a pause and think to myself, is this something worthwhile stressing about? Or should I focus on something else and not be distracted by this one thing and just take really good care of myself as best I can for myself and also my beautiful family as well. Now I'm sure that this episode was informative for you, likely going into deeper layers than you thought I would. I will be doing a bit of a series on detoxification. This is something that is really, really important especially in modern times, given that our environments are more toxic than ever and death rates of unknown cause doubled in 2019 to 2020. So the environment is more toxic than it used to be with, say, our our parents, our grandparents and our great grandparents, but they had other things to deal with as well, right? They, you know, had to go to war and all these things. We just had to kick it on the couch, right? Totally not the same situation, but we have different things going on behind the scenes, especially psychologically. So when you do the detoxification work, some of the benefits you're going to find is more mental clarity. You can kind of see through the fluff. You can see through the interference. You can see through the distractions much more easily. And what this has done for me is to allow me to become more discerning than ever and actually feel in myself if something isn't right, the gut is like our second brain, right? We have the gut, we have our heart, we have our brain. And it's really important for you to become so pure and so clear that you can actually listen to yourself think and actually give your body what it's asking you for. Because if you become clear enough, you will be able to hear what those messages are. If you want to go outside and do a hike outside, you want to play some pickleball. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun playing pickleball with, with the ladies. And what's cool is when I see radiant people, they're, they're always more mature. And these ladies are in their sixties or in their seventies and they are so vibrant. Their bodies are moving incredibly well. So aging isn't a sentence for being in pain and being slow and being unhappy. It's all how you look at it. And I learned this from one of my dear clients, Her name is Mary and she's 94 and at the ripe age of 94, she wanted to learn how to ride a horse. So it's all about keeping your mind occupied with good things, with positive things, personal growth, all that is great. Not so much with the woes of the world these days because there's always something new and novel coming up. We live in hyper novel times and it's just important for you to know that and stay on track with your own journey with your own radiant transformation, with your detoxification situation, your home life. But if I can leave you with anything, it's really get all of the cobwebs out of the way, both physical and non-physical, and just be grateful for the health that you have, the life that you have. Be grateful for things throughout your life because studies show that people who are more grateful, they get their vitamin G, they are healthier and they're happier. And at the end of the day, the more of us who are operating radiantly, who are happy, who are in positive emotional states, 
we're, we are going to have better interactions with others and ourselves, both personally and professionally. So this is how I think we truly can help make the world a better place, one person at a time. The other thing I will close with is the importance of using, of course, non-toxic products. Now, this is, of course, my wheelhouse. Clean skincare, clean hair care, clean body care products, but that actually work. So when you're going through your detoxification process, you also want to take inventory of the products that you're using, from skincare to hair care, personal care products, and cleaning products. If those products have parabens, phthalates, sulfates, artificial dyes, and fragrances, I highly recommend not using them anymore. And if you are looking for some one-on-one -on -one guidance, this is where I come in. I'm here, a humble human on mission here to support you for becoming your best version. But sometimes it can be hard to know where to start. And so that's where I can become your skin and rejuvenation mentor and lead you on the straight and narrow and not get distracted by all the bright, shiny objects out there with rejuvenation laser technology, with this brand new revolutionary skincare product. Peptides has been in skincare that I've worked with since I started in the industry in 2011. Peptides is not new. I first heard about it in the biohacking space being used in skincare just a couple of years ago. I'm thinking to myself, this is not new stuff. So, so I, I have been in the industry long enough to be able to suss out what the gimmicks are and what the tried and true options are. So if you're looking for that customized guidance, that cake recipe, what to do at home and in the clinic, I warmly invite you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me over at theschoolofradiance.com and use promo code WELCOME15. If you're looking for instruction through tutorial-based learning on how to actually use your products, this is where I teach my seasonal skincare tutorials. We cover skincare, hair care, hair growth, biohacking, women's health, free post-recovery tips, retinols, peels, skin cycling, at-home dermal rolling, of course. I actually show you how to do it in my restroom. And then, of course, technologies to use for the skin. That a lot of the things that I talk about, you don't really see heavily marketed online because a lot of the companies I work with, they have a greater emphasis on research and development and education rather than marketing. And that's often a great giveaway as to, you know, a company. And of course, there's great companies out there too that have excellent marketing budgets. That's just something that I've observed. You want things to stand the test of time. And this is what I'm here to help you with. So I do look forward to having you join my seasonal skincare tutorials every season. There's something different to focus on spring, summer, fall, and winter. The skin does need different types of, of products and different ways of being cared for and different things to do rejuvenation wise, depending on the season that we're in. Now for the deeper dive on some of the other pieces of technology and some of the other detoxing protocols that I personally use and see success with many of my clients, this is in the School of Radiance membership. Now for the School of Radiance membership container, it took me about seven months to truly experience a radiant transformation myself. And I give you the roadmap for it, but I want to give you about a year to do it. And if you haven't yet listened to my Audible, Radiance, the New Skin Science, I highly recommend downloading that. You can get that on the book page over at theschoolofradiance.com. I do recommend listening to the Audible because there's things in there that isn't in the written form. And in the audio format, I do have um, a great frequencies playing behind the background and uh, really amusing my voice in, in a beautiful way to help inspire you. And if I can do it, you can too. Uh, this is my, this is basically my journey that I've done to detox. And I got to tell you, the weight loss that I've had from it is pretty profound, to be completely honest with you. When I look at photos of myself from a number of years ago, or even videos of myself earlier this year, you know, I still look puffy. I was going through a lot of big life stressors. I basically had to change my entire life. And so there's that, been there, done that. And I just, I really am grateful for having done the work and reaping the war rewards, which is deeper beauty and radiance. So if I can do it, you can too. I'm an open book. Check out my Audible and I'm sure it will inspire you. Be sure to subscribe to the School of Radiance podcast. Share this episode with a friend or family member that is curious about detoxifying, but how to do it in a specific way 
And there's other things that I can recommend detoxifying too as well. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, if you know what I mean. And uh, a lot of these things I've actually been doing behind the scenes for a long time to protect myself from, you know, new things that have been rolled out on the planet. And honestly, our health is our greatest source of wealth. You can have all the money in the world, but if your body's failing you, your brain is scrambled, you are experiencing neurological diseases, then you're not going to be getting the most out of life. So for those of us who are willing to do the work, who are willing to reduce oxidative stress and stay as pure as possible along the way and leave a positive impression on those we engage with, I think that's a recipe for success, longevity, and living the life of your dreams. So thank you everyone for joining me here on the School of Radiance podcast. Have a beautiful high vibe rest of your day. And to be radiant, you always want to be ready. Always want to be resilient. Hello, adaptogens. Get Organifi over on my biohacking page as well. Uh, Organifi superfoods and adaptogens. They were instrumental also in my journey to reducing adrenal fatigue because a lot of times when we go through life, our adrenals get a little bit shot and a little bit overtaxed and it's just important to day in and day out keep your uh, keep your keep your adaptogens up all the time so that when your body does experience stress not a roadblock but an obstacle you can move through that with more grace and ease that's a very feminine and radiant way to going about things and then for the men it's just going to keep you always ready which i know you enjoy as well all right love you all so much i'll see you again right here on the School of Radiance podcast.